So, um, how are things? Um, things are not good, but like I'm an optimistic person. Obviously, when I first got here, the first thing I was trying to do was get out. But now, you know, where I've been here for close to three weeks now, I'm just being optimistic about the situation and my first objective is my recovery and sobriety and I can maintain that here. So, you know, things are going okay. Are you an addict? Um, I was an addict and yeah, I'm a recovering addict. Um, what was your what was your drug of choice? Um, it was opiates. Um, how did you get involved in that? Uh, honestly, I think most people gets involved in it the same way, and obviously it's such a bad epidemic that's spreading through the nation. Like one of the Jersey Shore cast members, he recently like came out with his opiate addiction, and I just think it's a really bad epidemic. And I think as you know, the age gets younger and younger for this disease. Like I really think it's a disease, and I got into it because everybody around me was doing it you know and I tried it and were um, when you were filming the first season of Buck Wild were you using then um, yes I was using then um, were you ever was what made air on MTV were you ever under the influence or high during any of that um, yeah I think like I think the people that know me and even the people that don't know me could, you know, tell that I was under the influence. Did you ever get high with any other cast members? I'm um, not going to disclose that. Um, so, I mean, did it, did it get worse that, that addiction or the need for these drugs as sort of the fame and the attention built? Yeah, I definitely think, you know, because I was on camera and, you know, I think, yeah, like my addiction definitely increased, like, you know, with the show and the fame. And that's something that I had to, like, that's something that I have to control if I am, you know, going to do future seasons or if the show does, you know, continue. That's something that I, like, you know, I'm trying to terminate right now so that I can be ready and sober. Yeah. Um, what's, what's that recovery been like? Um, honestly, the recovery was like up and down before I got to jail because, you know, before I got here, I was like definite that, you know, I needed help. And I was in like the waiting process to get help. I was waiting for a bed space available. And obviously within that waiting time, I was using cause I was an addict and you know, I got drug tested before a bed space was available. And you know, that kind of landed me in here cause I failed my drug test. When you were, when you were out on bond, um, when you were released the first time, how long was it before you started using? Um, when I was, well, actually I was clean for a while and then it just, like any addiction, like the mental aspect just drove me crazy. So, you know, I started using, like I needed help and I, you know, I couldn't get it at that very moment. So I started using. Did you know that when you were taking that drug test that you were going to fail? Yeah, I knew I was going to fail. And was was there ever any moment of like stepping back and saying, "Whoa, this is," I mean, I've got a lot riding in my career is kind of building, mm -hmm. and I've got a lot going for me. I should stop this, or I mean, but the the addiction sort of takes that over. Doesn't yeah, it? like as in any addict and any addiction. I think that the number one thing on that person's mind is just you know getting their fix and they don't really I mean they take in they take their goals and everything into consideration but all everything all of that is just in the back burner like in the back of your mind um going back to the uh back to the Somersville property mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year um, 
there was police found heroin there. Mm-hmm. They found a lot of drugs and a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. And they're saying since you were there, you were a part of all that. Right. Were you a part of it? Honestly, I know it's cliche to say, but I really, like, you know, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I'm just a user. I have nothing to do with any, like, you know, transactions or anything like that. And the heroin, like, I will totally say that it it was not mine. And, you know. Have you ever used heroin? No. That's like the point where, I mean, that's a pretty scary drug. That's pretty serious. Yeah, it's a very addicting drug, but I've never, like, I've never used that. Um, Let's talk a little bit about Buck Wild. When, um, uh, obviously, um, I mean, there's a lot of mourning still going on for Shane. Mm. When you heard about that, when you heard about his death, where were you? I was in jail, and it just drove me crazy that I couldn't give my condolences to Loretta and Dale, which are his parents, and, you know, attend the funeral. You know, I really tried my best to be there and pay my respects because, you know, he was an awesome person. Um, Obviously, uh, you guys had a lot of back and forth on the shows there, but there's something that maybe we didn't see on MTV that is a favorite memory of yours with Shane? Um, well, we, you guys didn't see this, but we were flown, like we flew out to LA and um, when we flew out to LA, me and Shane actually like, we like had a lot of fun there in LA. So that's something you guys didn't get to experience with us. And just like mudding and everything my first time mudding was with him so i'll definitely cherish those moments um were when you were behind bars the first time were um after the drug test did were you contacted by mtv uh no i no i was not contacted so you haven't been in contact with anything well actually i've been in contact with mtv after i got out of jail um the first time and what was their reaction to the arrest? Um, they obviously, they, you know, were not happy with it, but they were surprisingly very sympathetic to my problem that I had because they know that I'm not a criminal. Like, you know, I'm not a bad, like, part to this society. They knew that this was, like, a problem that I was, you know, facing. Um, were there plans to... Um, maybe continue the show while you were in here? Were there, did they mention that? Or I guess you were out on bail, so. Yeah, so, I mean, while I was out on bail, we were, you know, proceeding with the show. Um, but, you know. Did they talk about the arrest at all on the show? No, I mean, I didn't even get a chance to film before I, you know, landed back in here. But yeah, we were gonna talk about the arrest and, you know, my problem. and. And how did you find out the show was being put on hold? Um, actually, I just from the news, from my parents. What's that like? Honestly, I think it's really noble of the network um, because this was a really highly like it had high ratings, and they chose like respect over money, like, and you know I think that's just noble of them to put it on hold for now, and I think that's the best decision you know, considering the unfortunate events that's happened to the cast members on the show. Um, It's been kind of a, I don't think anyone has ever had a year quite like you've had. No, (laughs) yeah. I don't know. I think that there's other people that's been in worse positions than me, but I mean, but you know, I'm just trying to make the best of it and I'm just, you know, recovering right now and just sobriety is like my number one objective right now. Do you think, are, are you hopeful that um, they'll be sympathetic toward, toward your recovery? Yeah, um, I think from the start they've been sympathetic towards my recovery and you know, like any addiction like you relapse especially when you haven't gotten help and now that i'm actually like being sober and getting help um 
I think they'll be more sympathetic towards my situation. Um, what, um, what do you learn from all this? I just learned that, you know, don't, like, you just can't be influenced so easily and you just have to stick by your morals. Like, and honestly, I know it's cliche, but just say no, like, to drugs, like, because it can just take over your whole world and in the flash of an eye, like, you can just, you know, lose a lot of things. Like, I know there's a lot of girls that would love to be in my position, like, being on, being able to be on a reality show and, you know, and I, you know, I just didn't really think about that. Um, was there a point in, when, when you said, man, this is out of control, I mean, the, the addiction, I'm doing things that I usually wouldn't just to get that next time? Um, no, because honestly, it's never really gone to that level. Um, you know, I've never, you know, I've seen people do some really like scary, crazy things to get their high. And I think with me, um, I just, you know, got in trouble and, you know, that's, you know, what led me to see that, whoa, this is taking over my life, you know, like, so. Um, what do you do in assuming that, um, MTV is is done done with Buck Wild. Mm -hmm. What do you do? When you get out? Um, actually, uh, I have other goals. Like I graduated college with my accounting degree, and currently I'm studying for my CPA. So while I'm in, I want to make the best of it, and I'm trying to, you know, hopefully be ready to sit for my CPA exam as soon as I get out of here. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Shoot, that was like, that was no time at all. Those are kind of my questions. Okay. <laughs> You're lightning fast. Well, uh, what else should we talk about? I mean, what, what else, um, what else is there? Um. Talk, let's talk a little bit about, um, just some of your experience with Buck Wild. I mean, was, while you were filming that, were, were there any surprises there? No, you know, um, I think, I think part of the reason why the network, you know, put this on hold was because unlike every other reality show, we didn't go by a script. And I think that's what made us one of the like top rated shows is because the audience was a, you know, they were able to see how genuine like we were and how real we were. And I think because, you know, I wouldn't be able to go on camera right now after, you know, Shane's death and you know everything that's been going on and just be able to be just fake about everything you know so I think they took that into consideration with putting the show on hold and so yeah um, a lot of the other cast members are trying to create a campaign to keep the show alive mm -hmm. in some form you think you should take a different direction? What would you say to those cast members? Um, honestly, I think, I think right now, I think it's just disrespectful of them if they want to like, cont if they want to just start back on air like right th at this very moment. I think that there should be, you know, a respectful grieving process for the main character of the show. And, you know, I don't see how they're trying to campaign for the show like immediately after one of our main cast members, you know, death. Yeah. I mean, is it, do you understand where they're coming from or is it just completely foreign? Um, I understand where they're coming from because, you know, I'm a big fan of the show. I want the show to continue um, and I hope they do continue it. So I understand where they're coming from. Um, but I think it's just too soon to start filming again. Yeah. yeah. Um, any word on your, uh, on your modeling website? Oh yeah. Um, I wanted to say, you know, check out the real S-A-L-W-A, the real and you can actually see a clip 
from, you know, when I, before, like right before I was turning myself in, I made like a video. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, well, shoot. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Are you comfortable with that? I mean, is there... Um, I just want to, like... I just want to say, like, thank you to, like, my fans that are supporting me, like, in and out of jail. Like, the fans I have in jail, they've been a tremendous, like, recovery support for me. And the fans out of jail, like, that are writing me letters, um, I just want to thank them because they're really helping me through this process. When you get out again, and you will be out again, mm -hmm. and the temptation is going to be there, the mm -hmm. same people are probably going to have the exact same things. Yeah. So the temptation is going to be there. How do you overcome that? I just, me sitting here, um, every day that I sit here, my hatred for that, this disease and this addiction, it, I feel like my hatred for that um, and my hatred for the people that I surrounded myself with is going to be me overcoming this disease. Good deal. Mm. Cool. Well, great job. <laughs> you really, that was really articulate and well said. Really? And, yeah, and I think 